Hey guys, Ed here, Top of Line Training. Uh, back for, from West Virginia for a day. I had some business I had to take care of up here in Ohio today. So while I was here, I went ahead and uh, picked up this package from the post office. This is from Doug Wilson, Mike Wallace as well, Wallace Edge Tools, Doug Wilson, Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex. Just a quick out of the box opening on this uh, these items. If you've watched Doug Wilson's channel, you've already seen them. But uh, this is my take, my first look. And uh, you're going to be seeing these for a long time. So let's open her up. Man, I'm really excited. i got to say that real quick. I've been waiting for this stuff for... This has probably been a two-month process from uh, Mike uh, of Wallace Edge Tools. Mike Wallace <coughs> uh, made my order. Next thing you know, I've got three blades. And then, of course, those were sent to Doug Wilson, and you know he's got always he's always has a back order, and from the back order to his sickness, I know he made these when he was sick uh, or injured. I mean, <clears throat> so I appreciate that. But uh, hell, he must have had these things for a month at least. Uh, I'm guessing, and uh, so anyway, finally. They're here. They probably come in about two or three days ago, but I was, uh, like I said, in West Virginia. So I wasn't able to get them. Which was a bummer because I wanted to have these down there for th this hunt. But uh, anyway, I got a hell of a letter over in here. These things are sealed. Rock solid. Fort Knox. Shit, I'm gonna have to go get a knife for this. Maybe, maybe not. Hold on, there's some kind of other way to open that side of the gun. This looks a little easier. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I got the old HJ handle. Kitchen knife. Whoa, Colonel. Man. Pussy footing around. Uh, here we go. Like a kid at Christmas, although I know what's inside. Uh, let's move that out of the way. Don't want anyone to think I got an H.J. Hinkle um, knife in here. Although they're nice blades too. All right, so here we go. Bam. All right, so the first thing we have here, oh yes, sweet, is the neck knife. Woo, look at that, look at that jumping, man. Oh yeah. Razor sharp, nice G10 handles, little lanyard. Mike Wallace Necker. It's got a Kydex, as you were. It's got a uh, tech lock on it as well, so I can wear it on my belt. But I'll probably end up taking that off. Uh, I intended to, my main purpose of having this is uh, it's got a Waterman's knot on it, so it's adjustable on your uh, around your neck, of course. But uh, But, although that tech lock doesn't really interfere with anything, I'll probably write it about right there. But anyway, Mike Wallace, Wallace Edge Tools Neck Knife, <clears throat> Doug Wilson, Custom Kydex. Look at that thing. I mean, it's just a basic sheet, but man, it's made really well. Listen to this now, listen. Oops. It's rock solid there. You don't have the hard click. I thought I would. But it does lock in good. I mean, it's not coming out. And there's no... As well. 
there's no noise. So we got the neck knife. Gotta make sure it stays in camera. I, I uh, my tripod comes with this removable piece that stays with the camera, and I had it on the GoPro. Left it down in West Virginia, so I got my camera strapped on with a uh, bungee cord. So make sure it stays in the camera. So you got the neck knife. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now here, this is a little knife I bought a long time ago uh, out in LA. I, I think '91. I've skinned and gutted. I've gutted and skinned probably about five or six deer with this knife. Believe it or not, it is a really nice knife. I wanted Doug to make a, a sheath for it, but uh, he couldn't get the click on it for some reason. Not enough real estate or something. So a little disappointed about that, but it's the way it goes sometimes. I don't know which one to pull out of here first. I'm gonna go ahead and pull. And I think it's good. Chopper out. Ooh, look at that. I need my glasses. Look at this stuff. Hold on, fellas. I'll be right back. Damn. Oh, yeah, Dina. Jack Talk time. All right, so let me go back and look at this with my glasses on. Look at the hex cam uh, design on the sheath here. Tech lock, Waterman's knot around the, whew, this is nice. G10 handles, copper, uh, fish eyes here. Jumping here on the knife. You'll be seeing this up close and personal real soon, guys. Got a lot of plans for that. Now coming to back to the beast, I got an OD old drab with the hex cam, um, accessories. Here we have, on, I'm just looking at the Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex right now. You've got I, mean, I don't even know if this really needs this retention strap here. I mean, that thing locks in there. Listen, that thing's in there. It's not coming out either. It's always good to be on the safe side, I know. So anyway, we got a diamond. DMT diamond sharpener here. Sweet. Full length. Uh, to me, it's real important. Now, I normally carry a sharpener with me, but but to have all of this in one package, it's a Baldrick system as well. Not only the dang the cabby dangler, I can fold that out of the way. I connect my sling here, here. This rides here. You'll be seeing it real soon. Got the tech lock, full size. Although you have to have a big ass belt for this thing. It's heavy. And then you got the ferro rod here, standard ferro rod with the uh, lensitic compass. Um, these are real nice compasses. I have another one on my uh, LMF1. This thing is locked in here, fellas. Okay, so standard ferro rod. I mean, these are good, they work really well. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I'd rather have that on the other side, so I need to twist that around here. Oops. There we go. That's really tight shot core, guys. Really tight. That thing ain't going anywhere. All right. I think my battery's running low, so I better hustle. On the back side, like I said, well, we got the tabby dangler. 
This thing is rock solid. You'll be seeing this up close. I got the uh, small Altoids 10. I wanted, comes out the bottom. I really wanted to have a large Altoids 10, but it's okay. I'll do what I got to do with this. Mainly this will be a little fire kit. Um, that sucker's in there. Woo, look at that beast. Razor sharp. Chopper, baby. Boy, right there. You probably don't even see that coming. One one trick with the buoy system is you come right into the eye and you never even see it coming. It's in your face. It's hitting you before you even see it coming. Oh, this thing feels good. Man, look, it's got a little hand guard there. Thumb ramp. Ooh, I'm excited. Got the Wallace Edge Tools logo on this handle. Uh, man, this is nice. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look out. Razor sharp, guys. Razor sharp. All right, so this is going to click now. Dangler, Baldrick. Got the uh, tech lock as well for the belt. But man, that's heavy. I don't know if I'll be able to handle that on the belt or not. Now for the grand finale. This is what I've been waiting for right here, baby. Woo! Tabby Dangler. Let's go to the Wallace Edge Tool as you were the. Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex first. Got the uh, Coyote Brown with the hex cam accessories. Got a ferrule as you, oh, okay, I gotta get my half inch ferrule rod. I got a Rick Lindsay half inch ferrule rod rolling in here anytime, priority shipping. Uh, you'll see it when it comes, you'll see it hanging right here. Uh, I knew something looked different, it's missing the ferrule rod, but yeah. So anyway, no big deal. And then here, look, it's got the case already wrapped in there, and that locks in. It's not going anywhere, but it's, of course, got the shock cord keeper to help it. But this is a diamond rod. I can't remember the brand. Doug mentioned it on his channel. Looks like it's got fish hook sharpening, flat edge, and round. Really nice, small, compact, locks in. On the back side here, you got a full lensetta compass. You can do it all with this. Got the rotating bezel. Oh yeah, this is real nice. I mean, the silver, I believe this is. It's got a little, um, got about a three inch uh, ruler on it. It's real nice, real nice. Ooh, yeah, real nice. And then, Again, tabby dangler, heavy duty. You'll see this again up close and personal, guys. Got the tech lock, so I can carry it either way I want on the belt, or probably 99% of the time you're going to see it dangling. Okay. Now to get to the beast, as you were, this is the beast. This is the, uh, well, going with one more thing here. There's a slot here where I can just take my cordage slide it right up in there and cut so that's a nice feature man that thing is in there 